Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is number 39 in the series. This is Venn Diagrams. Let's get into it. Okay, we have um, to draw a Venn diagram, and we've got two sets A and B. So I'll start off by drawing a circle for A and a circle for B. And we've got to use all the numbers 1 to 12 in our Venn diagram. And the intersection, we're told, between A and B is 1 and 3. So I'll put those in the middle. And we are told that the union, so everything that's going to go inside the blue circles, is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, no 8. So that has to go outside. And no 10, so that also has to go outside. Um, A are odd numbers. So therefore 5 must go in here, 7 and also um, 9 and 11 because they can't go in B otherwise they'd be in the intersection. And that means the numbers that are left over need to go in B alone which are 2, 4, 6, not 8, not 10 but 12. Okay, here is a classic question where you've got students that must study at least one subject, uh, geography, history and religious studies, and we know there are 65 students in the year, and you've got this information and you've got to put it into a Venn diagram. Okay, so you always start at the center and you have that 15 study all three, so that goes in the center. Um, you then work your way outside, and the next bit of information you have is that 21 study geography and history. So tempting would be to put 21 in here, but that wouldn't be correct, because you've already counted 15 of those people. They're in the centre, and they do study geography and history. So you're left only with 6 in order to make up the 21 that study geography and history. And then the same uh, set of uh, logic for this. That 16 is geography religious. We've already got 15 people, so therefore one needs to go in here. And then the next bit of information which is useful is that uh, 30 people study geography. We've already got 6, 15, and 1 in that section. So um, 6 plus 15 plus 1 is 22, which means we're going to need 8 in here to make up the 30. And then we can see that 18 study only religious, so that means that you go in there, because that's the section of people that only study religious studies. And then overall, 37 people study religious studies. So let's add up how many we've got inside that circle already. 18, 15, and 1, which gives me 34. So I need three more left over for the final section to make 37. And then finally, we know that everyone studies at least one, and the total number of people were 65. That was given in the start of the question. So to work out the final um, segment, I will do 65 minus 3 minus 15 minus 6 minus 8 minus 1 minus 18. And that is 14. Okay, moving on to part B. It says that a student studies both history and religious studies is chosen at random. So straight away, before I even read the rest of the question, because um, someone has been chosen and we know they study history and religion, then I'm only going to be selecting from these people that study history and religion. And then it says work out the probability that this student does not study geography. Well, of the people shaded in green, the people who don't study geography is this section here. So my probability is those three people out of the 18 people who study history and religion, which of course could be simplified to one sixth if you so wish. Okay, next question, we've got 120 people and they were asked if they um, do swimming, basketball, or use the gym, which means that they might not necessarily do any of those. And we need to fill out the Venn diagram. Okay, so we're gonna start, um, as always, at the middle, and it says two people um, did 
all free. And then we're going to move our way out. And it says seven people went swimming and used the gym, which means um, swimming and gym needs to be five to make seven in total. And then it says five people play basketball and used the gym. So therefore, that needs to be uh, three to make five from two. And three people went swimming and played basketball, which means that that needs to be one to make three. And then it says that 27 people use the gym. And at the moment, the gym has five, two, and three, which is 10. So therefore, it needs 17 in here to make 27. 16 people used basketball. And at the moment, we've got one, two, three, which makes six. So we're going to need 10. And 28 people went swimming. And we've got five, two, and one, which is eight. So we're going to need 20 in here. And then to finish off, we've got to figure out how many people go on the outside. So I'll add them all up. 10 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 17 plus 5 plus 20. And that's 58. And I think it was 120 people were asked. So 62 goes on the outside. Just double check. Yeah, 120 people. OK. And now we've been asked to find the proper, uh, one of the people who went swimming is chosen at random. So before I do anything, I'm just going to color in all the people that went swimming. So these are the people that which we're selecting from. And it says find the probability that this person also played basketball. Well, the people that played basketball in that yellow section are these people here. So that is three out of 28 in total. Okay, final question. It says, some students in a school were asked the following question. Do you have a dog, a cat, or a rabbit? Of these students, we have this number. So, we, again, we might have people which aren't in any of these categories. Um, and we will start with the centre, if we can, and that's that six people have a dog, cat, and rabbit. So you go in the centre. And let's fill out other ones we could do. Nine have a dog and rabbit which means that three goes in here. Eight have a cat and a rabbit, so that means that two goes in here. And we also can see here that 20 have a rabbit, and we've got most of the rabbit section filled out. Three, six is nine, plus two is 11, so nine makes up the 20. And Actually, I could have done this one at the start. That was quite straightforward. Five have not a cat, dog, or rabbit. So five goes on the outside. And let's get to the tricky bit now. It says that X have both a dog and a cat. Um, well, in this segment here, again, I'd be tempted to put X, but what we always do is we take away six from that number. So this would be X minus six. Which means now if I do add these two together, it gives me a total of X. And that are all the people that have dogs and cats. Okay, next is we have um, 20, uh, 28 have a dog. So inside this region here, there are 28 people. So if I want to find out what is in here, I will need to do 28 minus 3 minus 6 and minus x minus 6. So that will give me uh, 28 minus 3 minus 6 is 19. So it's 19 minus x minus 6, which is um, 19 minus x and then plus 6. So that is 25 minus x it goes in there. And on the other side, we've got 18 people have a cat. So it'd be 18 minus 2 minus 6 minus, again, x minus 6. Um, 18 minus 2 minus 6 is 10. So it's 10 minus x minus 6, which is 10 minus x plus 6, which is 16 minus x. Okay, moving on. It says, given that a total of 50 students answered the question, work out the value of x. Well, I'd have to add up all the numbers. 
and set it equal to 50. So I can say that 50 is equal to, um, I'll do 3 plus 6 plus 2 plus 9 first. So 3 plus 6 plus 2 plus 9. So that's 20. Uh, sorry, and 5 as well. I didn't see that there. 5 on the outside. Uh, plus 25 minus x plus x minus 6 plus 16 minus x. Okay, so I get 50 is equal to uh, 25 plus 25 is 50 minus 6 is 44 plus 16 is 60. And in terms of the x's, I have a minus x, a plus x, and a minus x. So that overall makes minus 1x. So therefore, x must equal 10. Thanks very much for watching. That's Venn Diagrams done. If you did find it useful, please do like the video and subscribe if you're not already. And move on to the next topic. I'll see you there. Bye for now.